Okay, um, well, I mean, I got some sleep, all things considered. Um, uh, I am outside here waiting for Officer Owens and his team to pick me up so he could finally possibly a permanent place so I could be safe because if I don't find a uh, safe place, I'm in danger of dying in the heat. Also, um, I have no money. I have used up all my lift cash. I only got a dollar or something in my lift cash now. I used to between getting out of the getting out of the uh, place where I kicked out. I uh, went to came here to the Salvation Army, but then went to the wrong clinic that didn't had a uh, that didn't had a uh, didn't had a uh, social worker before. Uh, uh, Police officer brought me back to the Salvation Army where I had a bed for only a night. And so, and then on top of that, this is the weekend, so it's a dangerous weekend. I usually do that when I had no food. So not only I, I don't have no food, and then on top of that, I wasn't allowed to bring my uh, drink mix. Well, not my drink mix, I have that, but I wasn't allowed to bring my drink with me, which is my Gatorade. I wasn't allowed that, so I was forced to throw it away. And so I had nothing to take my medicine, and I got nothing at all. I'm like, to literally, bro, what, what's anybody going to use you for a dollar for? Like, that's up for a transportation on the trolley. Uh, but I got nothing, and, and then the lift money stayed there. I had nothing for lift money. And uh, remind you, I'm not going to get paid for, like, seven or eight months. Uh, well... I am tr- I am trying to get help to help me to do my appeal, uh, my waiver appeal because I'm in a I'm, I'm in a dire situation, a dangerous situation, and uh, so if I'm in the streets too long, I definitely would be dead. I definitely would be dead. Uh, so please uh, keep praying for me if you could. Um. I am charging my phone. I am waiting for officer to help me. But if it's if it's not meant to be, then I don't know what to do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know. I don't even know how to get to the beach at this point. And there's no place at the beach to charge the phone. And I had I would have to keep it off for the time being if I do go to the beach because I don't. And these flies! Oh my god! I had to I had to fight them the last time I I had to charge the phone. So, <laughs> I'm just literally dumbfounded. I mean, I mean, I, I am this close to having a nervous breakdown. I am this close to having a nervous breakdown. I was just still in a shock that it's something could have happened so fast. And not only being broke that I can't go nowhere now, it, it, the fact that now I'm waiting for Officer Owens, uh, on the guy was the police to, to try to find me a more permanent situation. Even though I won't get paid for seven or eight months, I won't get paid to either April and or May, and it's not going to be six seventeen. I don't even know if I'm going to survive that long. Okay, I don't even know. And then if we do have a government shutdown, what's that going to do to applications? I was trying to see if I could get help in getting SSI uh, SSI back. Yeah, trying to get help again after this iPad. Thankfully, I do got my porn papers. I do got my birth certificate. I do got my ID, thankfully. And I do got something that shows that my social security number, or anything that needs proof. I am so tired. I'm already feeling the effects of the heat. I am in complete danger. I got to get out of danger. I got to get out of danger. I got to, I literally got to get out of danger. I mean, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I played a little bit of Monopoly Go. I could have played it last night with the sound down. I didn't know that. I could have played last night with the sound down so not to disturb uh, people. But I only had to call uh, a couple of friends, uh, the citizens. I called um, the sheriff and I also called Chief Justice. And, uh, yeah. I'm just literally a shock. I mean, any day I could have a nervous breakdown. That's why I did week four early. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do the aftermath of week three. 
So I but I did buy my time to that to do on week four early, even though it was short. Uh, because of the situation that I'm in. And uh, I'm now I'm back in danger. Now I'm right back in danger because I can't stay in there all day. Nobody can't. Nobody can't. So I'll try to give you updates as much as I can as I'm able. I don't know if I'm going to be able to have the phone because in order for me to have data, I have to have the plan and I don't have, I won't have any money to pay for a cell phone and uh, I won't have money to pay for a new cell phone. So I don't know. I mean, I may not have a phone much longer. I may not have a phone much longer because of this situation. I mean, it really put me in a bind here. It really put me in a bind. It really did. It really did. So. Like I said, I did get some sleep, all things considered. Stressed out at everything. And, uh. I don't know. I don't know what to do. It's going to be 90s today, it's going to be, but it's going to be feeling like it's 100 again. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. I don't know where to go. I don't. I, t- I really don't know what to do. I mean, now I do. I did like the, the fact that they had the, uh, uh, the door for people's stuff and right where the beds that was assigned. And thankfully, it was quiet except for some coughing early in the morning. And that was about it. The problem is I didn't have no phone so that I could... Uh, so that I could wake up and everything like that. Yeah, so I had I ain't had nothing basically. So that's it. I guess I'll do whatever I can and I'll try to let you know whatever I can. So this is Prince DJ around. <laughs>